I'm Lauren Gooch with an HPN News Update, brought to you by Homepage Extras. How many eagles can you spot in the newest episode of Chasing Eagles? Matt takes us to the connecting channel between Tioga and Hammond Lakes to see a bunch of eagles in their natural habitat. He also shows us a bald eagle nest near the Tioga River, right off of Route 15. Click the link in the caption to learn more. Here's a Tioga County COVID-19 Task Force update from Jim Nobles. COVID incidents and positivity decreased again this week, with 41 cases per 100,000 residents being reported and a positivity rate of 2.8%. This represents the third consecutive week of decreasing incidents and positivity, as well as the third consecutive week of moderate transmission. Currently, we have 64 active cases being reported in the last 14 days, with 22 of those reported in the last seven days. On the vaccine front, to date, the county has administered 5,735 vaccine doses, broken down as 3,846 partial doses and 1,889 people receiving their second dose and are now fully vaccinated. Over the past week, there were significant vaccine developments nationally. The FDA has granted emergency use authorization to Johnson & Johnson for its COVID vaccine, which now gives us three vaccines that are FDA approved for administration. Johnson & Johnson has immediately begun shipping vaccine nationwide and anticipates shipping 4 million doses this week, with plans to ship another 16 million doses in the month of March. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine is a single-dose vaccination, which will greatly reduce the logistics required to fully immunize our residents. No information as of yet to when we can expect to begin receiving the Johnson & Johnson vaccine in Tioga County. More information will be forthcoming as we continue to work with the State Department of Health to advocate for increased vaccine shipments to Tioga County. Also last week, the FDA has approved the Pfizer vaccine to be stored at normal medication freezer temperatures of minus 13 to 5 degrees Fahrenheit for up to 14 days. This is a significant change as previously the Pfizer vaccine required ultra cold storage of minus 76 to minus 112 degrees Fahrenheit. This change will greatly expand the number of facilities that can receive, store, and ultimately administer the Pfizer vaccine, not just in Tioga County, but in rural communities throughout the Commonwealth. The task force is very pleased with the current trajectory of the disease in Tioga County, but would once again like to remind everyone that we are far from out of the woods. The virus is still present, and we need to be diligent in our fight to keep our numbers trending in the right direction. Please do your part to keep our county safe and healthy, and when it's your turn to be vaccinated, please do so. Wellsboro Little League registration is now open. Sign-ups are open through March 30th, and opening day is April 17th. Register at the link in the written caption. Today, the Endless Mountain Music Festival will release their last video in the weekly series on the EMMF website. All of these video performances are free and can be viewed anytime at endlessmountain.net. Today's weather will be mostly cloudy with highs in the mid-40s and lows in the upper 20s. For HPN News, I'm Lauren Gooch. It's all right here on Homepage Extras. It's a wonderful place because of the people.